actually being 2012 or 2013 and you were telling us about your plans and you're like 2017 we'll shoot about a donkey and I was like I don't know what I'm doing next month so sure put that on the calendar for 2017 and 2017 we shot about a donkey <laughs> about a donkey was the first thing that you showed me outside of class though. right it was a feature film we had known each other for almost a year at this point maybe more and I think I was like, wait, what? You wrote a feature? I didn't realize that this was a serious thing, that you were like on that level of writing. I thought you were just writing for the class. So then everything kind of changed from that point forward. Fundamentally, why people will watch this film is because it's fun and it's entertaining and it looks like a good movie. I think that the people that need to see it most are the people that don't typically seek out inclusive content. That's part of why we sort of centered it around a white family, hoping that complacent or like passive white people would choose to watch it and say like, I can do more. I can be more accepting. I can be more of an ally. I can embrace people more. The plan to shoot about a donkey was March into April of 2017. The schedule of when we would have to crowdfund was kind of set in stone. Once we cast everyone and kind of reserve them for, <clears throat> reserve them for specific dates and had locations locked and all the kind of things that you have to do early for pre-production, we were then locked into having to crowdfund in February of 2017. So, you know, we're making this film in this political climate in this version of America now. So how does this film play into that? How does this film um, help the state of things? And for me it did because you wrote a script that was all about inclusion and about acceptance and about showing people as people that happen to look like the diversity that we're surrounded by. And so that was really important to me and I think that that's how you change minds. That's how you get people to identify with people who don't live or love or look like them by making them empathize with people on a very human level and just make them feel like them even if they don't look like them um, you know, or pray the way that they do or whatever it may be. That's it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.